This is exactly where all this happened, and the board wasted no time to take a look at the area for themselves. The entire independent review board took a field trip to where Detective Sean Souter was shot, 11 News exclusively capturing them walking the scene. Two competing theories emerged in the November 15, 2017 on-duty death of Detective Sean Souter. Did someone shoot him with his service weapon, or did Souter take his own life? Perfect time. Commissioner Daryl D'Souza convened a panel of experts to conduct a comprehensive review of the police investigation at a cost of $149,000. What the panel declared it will not do, many may find surprising. We are not going to reinvestigate the homicide. But what we are going to do is do an assessment of what the work that has been done, and we are going to carefully make recommendations of best practice and ways that what worked well and what needs improvement. The commissioner gave the board a straightforward directive. Go with the evidence leads. Commissioner D'Souza detailed five areas of concentration. First, review the death of Detective Souter. Look into the crime scene investigation. Review the incident command, how police performed as a group, did they set up a command quick enough? There was information that from several sources that it was like almost like an active shooter in the area. Uh, so we shut down Bennett Place immediately and we didn't know the flight of the uh, potential suspect. Were police transparent? Did they do the right things, share good information with residents? They'll look at the security of the Harlem Park community. The panel will be also be calling witnesses. Their work done mostly behind closed doors is expected to take three to six months. The findings, however, will be made public. Reporting live from West Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.